Yo, what's going on guys? Solo Customs Armies here and I'm back with Black Ops 2 doing the map Die Rise and I'm doing another challenge for you guys and this one's called Spawn Room Only and basically if you can't tell by the name you're not allowed to open any doors you can only stay in the spawn area and use the weapons that are at spawn area and since we're on Die Rise the only weapon in the spawn is the Olympia and we're going to be using we're going to be doing this challenge and seeing what round we can get to I have done it in a previous live stream before and never did too good. I think I have died on like round 8 or something so hopefully we can do a lot better on a, on a recording and it should, it should be fun. I reckon it's going to be quite hard if we don't get the uh, Juggernaut. Why am I not skipping this? If we don't get Juggernaut off the first Gremlins then it could be a little hard but Double Tap or Juggernaut is what I want off the Gremlins straight away. Juggernaut or Double Tap. I have just been in a, a quick game to get myself Persistent Juggernaut. That's really you kind of need that for this challenge. I'm sorry it's taking so long right now. There we go. Okay. So I've got my persistent juggernaut. We may as well go ahead and buy the Olympia right now. Power switch should be nearby. And let's get this shit on the go. Go find it, Darlington. Go find it, Darlington. Alright, spawn room only. I will be using this elevator to kind of weave in and out of like that. Obviously, if I stay in it for too long, it's going to drop me down and just end the whole purpose of the challenge. But... I will be using it to weave in and out as long as I don't stay in there for too long. We should be good. Another thing someone recommended me for this challenge was they told me to um to get my persistent quick revive as well. Which I didn't really want to do because I, I believe you got to do like 17 revives or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But I just thought I'd stick with a persistent juggernaut. I knew that would help me more than anything else. So persistent juggernaut is all good. I'm missing their feet right now. I, I actually don't need points for anything, so I don't know. I should have just knifed them all, but oh well. May as well get the points since we're here, hey. Alright, cool. This is going to be, I think, if we can get our persistent carpenter, that'll definitely help as well to keep this window shut. Because when you're, like, when you're training around here, and then you come to this area, the and they're coming from down the stairs in the window, you're like, oh god. So if we can try and keep that window shut with uh, the persistent carpenter perk, that will definitely help. Oh god, this Olympia is so bad. Double tap or Juggernaug off the uh, off the Gremlins, please. Headshots. Reload. This Olympia takes so long to reload. Come on, reload. God damn it. There we go. Alright, cool. This is going to be really, really hard. I mean, I, I think someone's been to pass around 30 doing this, which is awesome. That's just, I don't know who it was, but in my live stream when I got recommended this challenge, someone did say someone's been to around 30 plus, and I was like, wow, really? Because that's, that's pretty awesome, you know, the Olympia is really terrible at that stage, but I think we could beat it. If we try our hardest, play really smart, I think we might be able to beat around 30 plus. Oh, nice nuke. Enough of you. Another thing about when the gremlins come is whether to risk the 100% accuracy or just knife. That's something I really don't know what to do. If I miss one bullet, that's just that's just messed it up, really. I'll have to wait another five rounds just to try and get my juggernaut. And if I don't get my juggernaut, then I'm going to have to wait another five rounds. So, on round 15, my persistent juggernaut will run out. And I'll have no Juggernaut, no perks, and only the Olympia to get me through the rounds. So, I think I might try knifing. And if it doesn't go too well, then just risk the 100% accuracy. Yeah, I think that's what we're, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to just risk the knife in the knife. The stab the stab stab. Come on, they're coming out this window pretty quick. Alright, those three guys can get triple killed with my frag grenades. Oh god, there's one behind me. Persistent jug for the win already. Jesus. Oh, we're having to train already on round four. I want to try and save my, uh, my grenades for when we get the gremlins. Obviously, I'll get two back at the end of every wave. Oh, that'll help so much for the gremlins. Come on, please be gremlins. Come on, please be gremlins. Kill him quick, god damn it. Kill him. Yes. Come on, big gremlins, please. 
This will make my life a whole lot easier. Please, come on. I never get gremlins on round five. It's always round six or seven. No, god damn it. Ah, that kind of sucks balls. I never get gremlins on round five, dudes. That's so annoying. So frustrating. Stab. Stab. Oh, this guy. Stab. Quick. Oh, yes. Just in time. Just in the nick of time. Alright. Starting to take two shots now. Oh, God. I'm out of ammo. Give me some ammo. I missed the ammo, God damn it. Come over here, bitches. You gotta be kind of quick getting ammo right there. Because there's stuff on the left side of the Olympia and the right side which can cop block you. Which is really annoying. Alright, hopefully it's Gremlins next and we can get our Juggernaut. I'll still be fine with 4 hits for a couple more rounds, so whether it's Juggernaut or Double Tap, I really don't mind. Oh, double points for the gremlins. Why can't it be a nuke or an insta kill? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, the gremlins. Damn it. I'm gonna have to risk knifing, dudes. Oh god, there's two of them. I've kind of fudged things up right now. Let's use our grenade. Let's see if we can kill one with a grenade. Oh, I hit marked one, so that's a good thing. If you didn't know, guys, you can use grenades and claymores against these gremlins. Either one works. Alright, another hit marker. Oh god. Alright, this guy should be one knife too. Alright, we should be good here. Come on, give us Juggernaut. Cross your fingers for me, dudes. Let's get our juggernaut. You ready? You ready? Da -dum, da -dum, da -da -da -dum. No! Who's who? Ah, damn it. I suppose it helps, but... Damn it, we need our juggernaut. When I did my uh, Dire Eyes world record with no power... Oh, did I just get my carpenter? I don't think I did. When I did my Dire Eyes world record with carpenter, I got the juggernaut perk last. I actually didn't get my Juggernaut until round 39, which really didn't help, and hopefully that doesn't happen in this situation. You always get max ammo the round after the Gremlins as well, dudes. Keep that in mind when you want a when you want a high round. All right, I think we should just trim for a little bit right now. Just take my time, train them, gather them all up. And then we'll go for it. Are you making fun of me? If it, it, the good thing about using this Olympia, you don't really have to stand still and shoot loads of times like you would if you, you was uh, using the M14. You know, you can just turn around, boom, boom, and then get back to training. So it isn't, it isn't as scary. With the M14, you know, you get eight shots, which you'd want to fire off before you, you started training again. So, that's a good thing about having the Olympia here. I'll take you one limb at a time oh, we got a nuke right here. I don't think I'll be able to save it. Oh, insta-kill. Yep, we're going to grab the nuke. And then we've got an insta-kill for next round. Alright, we also need a, some ammo. Give me some ammo. Alright, cool. This is getting a little scary right now. I just want my juggernaut. I need to keep this barrier built. Come on, give me my persistent carpenter. Actually, have I already got it? It kind of looks like I've got it. I'm not sure. Insta kill. Hey, taste this, dirtbags. I'll make this quick. Oh, I just got dead shot, Dakery. Which definitely helps because dead shot, Dakery actually. Um, Increases the damage on your guns if you get a headshot. 
which is pretty awesome. I actually never found that out until about a week ago, but with Deadshot Daiquiri, it actually gives you extra bullet damage on a headshot. So we need to keep trying to get our headshots so we don't lose our uh, Deadshot Daiquiri right now. On the bad side of Deadshot Daiquiri, since I'm a PC gamer, uh, PC gamers don't get auto aim, so it doesn't help me in that perspective, but it does help for the damage. 